Peace be to you. This is Omar Abdul Malik, physician assistant and health education specialist. I'm here at 7610 Georgia Avenue, Washington, D.C., Northwest. I'm in front of the HBCU Museum. So HBCU stands for Historically Black College and University. Uh, there's about 100 historically black colleges and universities in the country. So I, I'm shouting because um, Georgia Avenue is pretty busy. I just tried to get here at a quieter time of day. But um, if, if you're planning on becoming a physician assistant and are thinking about applying to an HBCU, know that you'll get an excellent education. It's the same education that you will get were you to go to a predominantly white or non-HBCU. Um, I know this because I, I went to um, non-HBCUs and HBCUs as well. So I'm a graduate of Howard University's PA program. Um, I also did my master's degree at University of Nebraska, which is not an HBCU. And I did my undergraduate um, in biology at University of the District of Columbia, which is, which is an HBCU. So um, of the one, approximately 100 HBCUs in the country, only a few have physician assistant programs. Um, I, I believe that uh, Drexel is one of them. Howard University until last year was one of them, but they unfortunately lost their program. God willing, they'll, they'll get it again in the future. Um, as well as uh, University of Maryland Eastern Shore. They used to have a program. Uh, Meharry, I'm sorry, um, not Meharry, but Morehouse College is planning on starting a physician assistant program. I think it's going to be this year, um, in 2019. Uh, but you'll get the same education that you would at a non-HBCU. It will, pre will prepare you for the physician assistant Nash, uh, national certification exam just as any other non-HBCU PA program would uh, and, and you may get um, a uh, different uh, cultural dynamic that you might not get at a, at a non-HBCU. Uh, one of the caveats I would issue is that don't come to an HBCU thinking that the education is going to be any less efficacious or any less challenging than it would at a non-HBCU. I, I say this as a erstwhile, as a graduate of HBCUs and a, um, an erstwhile college professor at an HBCU. Um, you, you'll get an outstanding education. Uh, you can um, check out the various HBCUs on, on their, their websites. Uh, the top HBCUs um, thus far are Spelman, Howard University, um, Hampton, I believe, and um, Xavier, if I'm not mistaken. This is according to U.S. News and World Report. I don't know how they decided that, but uh, you'd, you'd have to uh, read U.S. News and World Report to determine their criteria. But uh, it's, it's um, if you're looking for a supportive environment um, and a diverse environment, you'll, you'll find that at an HBCU. So you may want to consider it. I would invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I look forward to answering any of your questions, uh, in particular about um, how to apply to physician assistant school, or how to enjoy a career in any, other, any of the other allied health programs, be it nursing or uh, medicine, or uh, occupational therapy or physical therapy. And um, we'll, I look forward to talking with you. I can also be reached on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Peace. And I wish you all the best of success in your positive endeavors. Take care.